In this video, I'm going to break down the latest and most important information on Tropical Storm Lee. Lee became a tropical storm yesterday and we are continuing to see intensification trends as it slowly moves through the main development region. Satellite images show that deep convection has been increasing in intensity and coverage. The tropical storm is moving west-northwestward at 14 knots on the south side of a subtropical ridge over the central Atlantic. This ridge is expected to persist to the north of Lee during the next several days, keeping the storm on a west-northwest track through the remainder of the week and over the weekend. Lee will hit hurricane strength probably by Wednesday evening into the overnight hours. Continued intensification will occur on Thursday before acquiring major hurricane status by Thursday night. Lee will then approach the Lesser Antilles on Friday into Saturday as a Category 3 or 4, thankfully completely missing a direct hit on these islands. As we head into Sunday, Major Hurricane Lee will continue explosively intensifying to the north and east of Puerto Rico. It will continue on its trajectory by Monday, when it may get close to Category 5 intensity. This is as far as the National Hurricane Center's track goes for now. I know that it may be concerning seeing the track aimed at the U.S., but there is good news. All weather models are in solid agreement that around early next week, Lee will make an abrupt turn north. This is when we start seeing variability in model runs, which will have to be nailed down over the next few days. We have created this unofficial preliminary forecast track for Lee. Anywhere within this red shade is where the center of Lee could go. Bermuda Island, Atlantic Canada, and maybe even New England may receive impacts from this storm. Thankfully, some colder waters in Lee's future northward track look to weaken the storm, so even if this hurricane makes it to this area, it will not remain a Category 4 or 5. At this point in time, this is what I expect as far as impacts from this storm. If you are in the Caribbean, especially Puerto Rico and the Lesser Antilles, this is not going to be a direct hit from a monster hurricane. It won't be a complete miss though, since some gusty winds, outer rain bands, and large waves are possible. While much of the southeast coast and mid-Atlantic will be spared, some dangerous rip currents and large waves are expected along the coast. Once we get up here into the northeast, I am seeing some westward trends which could bring some rain and gusty winds overspreading the region. Lastly, models have been fairly consistent in a landfall of the system over Atlantic Canada, much like Hurricane Fiona last year. Definitely make sure you're watching the latest trends with this storm if you live in that region. That will conclude today's weather forecast. If you enjoyed this report, definitely make sure you stay tuned for more information and updates from this channel, and I'll see you on the next one.